There are many ways science is helping fight the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, vaccine development, of course, gets the biggest headlines, but there is a much less glamorous effort underway in Detroit. It is a program that samples wastewater in order to try to stay ahead of future spikes in the case count. Paula Tutman has a closer but not too close look. So this is actually a process a lot of communities are really starting to embrace. Everybody poops, everybody pees. I got to say that on a media interview now. And when you do those actions, you're, you're shedding the viruses uh, or whatever is in you out, out into the, the wastewater system. And with that thought, the city of Detroit announced today it expanded its partnership with the Great Lakes Water Authority and Michigan State University to use untreated wastewater as a bellwether to predict outbreaks. Wastewater-based epidemiology has been used ex um, uh, for a few years now. It's been very useful in addressing polio uh, to verify uh, around the world when the when polio has been eradicated in an area because you can see uh, based on what you get at the central wastewater treatment plant what's happening uh, within that sewer with the contributing population. Previous testing and research shows that the presence of the COVID-19 virus in untreated wastewater presents one to two weeks before an outbreak. And so by employing this kind of sampling and testing, ostensibly an outbreak can be detected before it actually happens, giving authorities as much as a two week jump on the disease to employ mitigation before it manifests in the population. This is groundbreaking. This is an exciting day for us at the health department. Um, of course, um, all of the residents. Um, the findings of this study are pivotal to the work that we already do. The data and science drive our decision making. And so um, with advanced notice of outbreaks, we're able to um, collect information on potential outbreaks affecting our residents. And this will you know, help them and prevent them from becoming ill because we have this advance notice. This kind of testing also circumnavigates many of the issues lawmakers face in terms of trying to get the public to cooperate with prevention and testing and tracing measures because it eliminates, pardon the pun, the need to test everyone because wastewater can be traced to specific communities and zip codes. Paula Tutman, Local 4.